Hi, this is Joelle and I am the Vibrarian. I am here to elevate, enlighten, and empower. I wanted to pop on today, first of all, because I had a message that I wanted to share. I'm also working with my technology, and so you'll forgive me if there's any lags or drags in this. I'm testing a few things out here. So as you know, we're all moving into a new frontier with all the technology and things that are available, and I'm along for that ride as well. So I wanted to share a moment, um, some information from a resource that I have as part of my collection. And one of the things that as the vibrarian that I do is that I am a, a vibrational channel. And that means that um, information that is helpful for people flows easily through me. That has been very helpful to me in my career as a professional librarian over the years. And then, of course, as the librarian, I've moved more fully into doing that with the purpose to spread high vibrational messages and information to people that are truly of a divine nature. So uh, what that looks for me is that I'm constantly getting messages and things that, uh, that come through and uh, I try to deliver those to the best of my ability. So if you follow me at all, you'll know that I am uh, connected with a lady out of the UK. Her name is Nikki and her channel is Divine Love Crystal Grid. I've been a member of her Crystal Grid for a couple years now. I have a beautiful rose quartz and um, it's all with the intention of bringing divine and unconditional love into the planet and anchoring that energy through the journey of the twin flame experience and of course through our interactions with people. So what happens is there's a lot of times there's synchronicities between the things that she talks about and the things that other YouTube readers are talking about and people around me and myself are experiencing. So that really came to focus for me in a big way this week. Um, and so I just want to try to explain a little bit about what happened. Um, so I generally wake up to see my subscriptions in the mornings after I do meditation and time. I look to see what the various channels that I subscribe to are posting. And then I check my inbox, review my information as everybody does. We look at our phones and begin scrolling. So one of the places that I uh, receive information from here, I'm going to start sharing my screen. So we'll see if this works out OK. <laughs> Let's see here. All right, so in sharing my screen, one of the places that I get email from is the Crystal Vaults. Now, I love Crystal Vaults websites. One of the reasons that I um, founded or began receiving emails is that they have a free crystal course that's, I think, 30 lessons that you receive by email. You can register for it on their site. It's very informative. I actually haven't finished it, uh, but it's in my inbox for me to kind of get to at my own pace. So it's a free crystal users course. And of course, they, uh, this uh, gentleman who runs the site sells beautiful crystals. So I'm on the email list. And this week, I think it was on Wednesday, yes, Wednesday evening, uh, this email came in and in my phone, it only said new in stock, rare, gorgeous blue. It, I didn't see anything else in terms of the title. So I kind of filed away and didn't look at it. And so then the next day on Thursday, I decided in the morning to go ahead and start looking at it. Well, I had also gotten notifications of the inbox, uh, you know, YouTube videos that were out for that had been published since the time I had gone to sleep. So I had read through this email. And of course, I was like, Oh, these are gorgeous crystals. I love the colors, you know, this color blue and the ocean is very significant in my branding and my own personal environment. So as I was reading about Hemimorphite, I had never heard of it before. So it's listed to be, according to Crystal Vaults, a master healer stone. A high vibration that's soothing healing and has a special power. It is able to draw in light to your auric field to aid in enlightenment, healing, and cleansing the aura. The high vibration also brings increased joy, optimism, and happiness. 
well, okay, I can receive that, right? <laughs> this is one of the few crystals that connect with both the heart chakra and the throat chakra with its perfect blend of green and blue color. It allows for the balancing of the heart chakra with soothing emotions. The connection with the throat chakra brings the ability for clear and concise communication. It will assist you in expressing your needs and feelings. Blue heavy morphite could be a wonderful crystal for couples. It allows for open and honest communication while fostering a heart to heart connection. With the increase of joy that blue heavy morphite brings in this ability to clear up or a clutter, you may find that you are feeling more inspired and focused as well. So I didn't click through on into the you know, the stock. I said, I'm not going to go ahead and shop at this time. So I kind of tabled it. I went in to look in the rest of my videos and I am looking in my subscriptions and I see two new messages. These are from the same day. One is rotocrosite, which is 14. Of course, uh, 14 is a very significant number for me because my birthday is on 1014. So I with relish pulled up this video to listen to and then this new one popped up just kind of as uh, the I was watching the old one and I see peeking out at me this hemi more fight and I had just finished reading the email for Hemi More Fight. So the only reason I'd ever seen this word before was because of that email that I had just finished reading. So when she begins this particular video and is talking about, uh, you know, blue Hemi More Hi, Fight this is being Nikki, and this is the second the message that is of the day, it was quite interesting. And I immediately paused and I emailed her and I said, you will not believe this. I just received an email. Let me go ahead and order this crystal right now. So I went in and I ordered a crystal before I ever even finished listening to her video. So uh, I don't believe things that are, ran are random. I think that everything is meaningful. And of course, being a vibrarian and being um, wanting and desiring to deliver the messages that people need to hear and to do so with a loving vibration um, uh, is very important to me. So it was clear to me that this stone would be quite supportive in that particular experience. So I'll definitely recommend and put the links below this video that you check out her uh, reading with Hemi Morphite. And what I have within my collection are different books and resources and Oracle decks. So I wanted to tap in to see what else I could learn about Hemi Morphite as I wait for my crystal to arrive because it was like a big message. So the, I looked through my uh, crystal oracle deck by Colette Baron reed It was not actually covered in that particular resource, but I know that, knew that I have this beautiful this, uh, resource called the Liquid Crystal Oracle, Return of the Atlantean Way for the Children of Light. The author is Justin Moike. Moikaha Asar, excuse me, sir, if we're butchering your name, I would definitely love to pronounce it correctly. If we have opportunity to connect in the future, I would love to learn more about your creation of this deck. And as you can see, uh, it's a beautiful resource. Now, I picked up this deck at uh, Next Millennium Gifts in Omaha, Nebraska. A beautiful store. I would definitely recommend that you connect with them. The great people. They had a beautiful collection of crystals and oracles and card decks and, and metaphysical products. And this deck just really was calling to me as I uh, walked through and it definitely was meant for me to have. So I wanted to see if this particular crystal is covered. And of course, both rhodochrosite and hemimorphite are covered within the book which includes a guidebook and then also crystal cards. So what I wanted to do is share this information so that more people will have it. Um, and I'll definitely deal with rhodochrosite in a second video because this is rather interesting. Now, this book is uh, quite a very in-depth uh, resource and there is quite a lot of information in here 
about um, how to use this tool and the living energy that the author was able to embody within the artwork and, and crafting of this tool. It's a very um, in-depth resource. I don't often just use it to read cards because I do like to study the information in a resource like this with a little more attention than um, just receiving my own channel guidance because clearly uh, people who create tools like this are connected and bringing forth a purposeful information that I think should be honored by, by uh, utilizing it in the right way. So anyway, um, here I wanted to share with you the Oracle card for Hemi And he basically has uh, brought in guidance as to the names of the crystal spirits. And there are a lot of everything on this card from the dots in the corner to the placement of the writings, the color shading, and then also even the name. I'm sorry, the autofocus is not working very well, but it is Hem U A L. Hem U A L is what he has brought forth as the crystal spirit name. And this is referencing to the egoless state. So I'm just, you know, basically going to go ahead and share with you the information that is within this particular card's guidance. And I would invite you to explore this deck more and possibly purchase it for yourself if you really want to get into the, the origins that he talks about of the crystal spirits and the Atlantean way of using those energies. So I hope that I can do it justice with just even um, reading to you what we have here. So the master crystal deva Hamu A.L. And it begins with the message from the crystal energy and then it talks about the uses of the crystal. So we have here, greetings child of the endless light. I thank you for reaching within my frequency. Feel my gentle breath upon you. Now, let me open you to the joy of the creator, a vision reserved for those who hold the key to the egoless state. Let us now hold and activate the mirror of self. I offer to you freedom through self-respect and self-love on all levels. Search deep within your heart to the glistening blue pools of loving expression realized. Ignite the white rose and purify. Allow the heart to become a filter for all that passes from you. Every breath, unconditional and all loving. We have opened your path of truth. Through me now, See your world and all within it. Know you are its creator. Your happiness is but a reflection of this fact. Continue your journey. Go deeply inward now as self-realization can lead to your highest imagined potential. Let the world no longer cast a shadow. Through your eyes, by choice, you are free. Wow, this is beautiful guidance. I'm already receiving uh, information uh, from, from this. Okay, so I'll continue here. Hemimorphite in healing. Hemimorphite is a beautiful deep powder blue opaque stone that often contains white inclusions. It is principally found in China and highly crystallized specimens are quite rare. In the last 10 years, more and more hemimorphite is being found. This is principally due to the healing effect that it has on us as the crystal of the egoless state. Strongly connected to personal power and its appropriate use, hemimorphite takes us to a healthy space of honesty about our actions in the world. It is a stone of self-respect and self-confidence without crossing the fine line that these characteristics represent. This is one of the crystals where it is useful to look at the negative state, for it is very common in modern businesses 
in its most extreme, the person that needs this stone is not taking responsibility for their actions, dishonest, self-centered, and making decisions from a fearful place. These people are in desperate need of self-love, but see it as a weakness, so empower themselves to compensate. This makes them egotistical, and the whole cycle starts again. They are trapped. Hemimorphite is their savior. Working with this stone over time, the voice of the spirit can be heard clearly and allowed to govern life, leading one to their highest potential, not just as a person, but also as a soul. Hemimorphite often holds the key to important information from other lifetimes and will only open the door if we are seeking from an egoless perspective. Hemimorphite is a contact stone for the Ascended Master Kuthumi and Archangel Jophiel. I have to smile because I love uh, those two energies, Ascended Master and, and Angelic energy, energy. So it's beautiful to have them present. More physically, Hemimorphite has an amazing healing ability with the herpes virus, which is directly connected to the ego. It is useful in blood and cellular disorders and can decrease pain in a similar manner to malachite. Your healing journey today. If hemimorphite has come to you today, it is a friendly reminder that we are all responsible for our actions. Take a good look at what is happening in life and make sure that you are retaining your personal power and acting from an egoless state. All truthful acts should harm none, benefit all, and stream directly from love in the name of unity. Hemimorphite can also present when there is a need to embrace an important role from another lifetime or when a loved one has recently passed and wishes to communicate with you. Make sure also that you are not being taken advantage of this stone can appear to let you know you need to recover a part of yourself from someone else's creation. The affirmation for this crystal is, I walk the path of truth to freedom. Key words, the egoist state, self-respect, self-confidence, truth about own actions, the shadow self, the herpes virus, the voice of a loved one who has passed, true reflection of self, work is life attitude. The body placement would be at home on the crown, throat, and solar plexus chakras, but this can be placed anywhere to indicate the presence of ego in or out of the body. The thoughtful Balancing trinity of energies would be to use pyrite or love on the soul star above the crown chakra, hemimorphite, power on the heart chakra, and hematite, wisdom on the earth star below the feet. Once mastered, the trinity placement can be taken or worked with in the company of diamond to activate the final stages of the ascension process. The chemical composition is hydrated zinc silicate hydroxide, color rays, 43% blue, 11% green, 32% clear, and 14% white. The animal totem is the giant panda, and the essential oil is ginger. So as you can see, each one of these, uh, you know, channelings and messages is quite depthful and beautiful energy. So I wanted to go ahead and bring that information forward because I thought it would be quite interesting and helpful and it very much is aligned with where we are, at least where I am right now in my experience. Um, I'm certainly uh, looking at my frequency to see where I am triggered to experience fear, where I'm triggered to uh, feel separation or division from other people. 
And so that is playing out in the microcosm and the macrocosm in reality. And so always choosing to fall back into unconditional love. This is I am another you and that we are all interconnected and in this together. Um, that is my return flow to every thought that I send out there, especially when I notice that it becomes something that is of a lower frequency. Like if I'm out and about in the world and I'm seeing people uh, reacting related to the virus and the pandemic in a way that is harsh and and suspicious, I'm very sensitive to that. And so I try to radiate a continued frequency of that we are not walking, talking threats to each other. And I am not going to paint into a reality or a situation that uh, continues to project that idea uh, of our reality needing to exist in such a way. So, um, you know, it's very interesting times and we are experiencing something that is unprecedented. I believe that it is part of the great awakening and the great shift. And that is not to negate the quite painful and stressful experience that many are um, having as they lose loved ones or dealing with uh, restriction and loss of um, normal life as they knew it. It's quite painful for people at a level. And so I'm not trying to take away from that. My uh, vision is to see with compassion that all people's experiences are what they are necessary for our own soul growth. And so to step back from any kind of personalization of that and, and feel the compassion and feel the truth uh, and feel the, the unity that I am them, even though I may not recognize and, and align with their current vibration, they are me at another frequency. And so I try to approach with that same unconditional love energy, you know, for all of them. It's just so interesting here that it's, it's that talking about we're responsible for our own actions, right? So what I am doing in the world is right action based on love as my principle. And, you know, this is talking about making decisions from a fearful place. I believe that what is happening to us right now is that we are receiving massive messages of fear and an effort that try to make us base our decisions on that fearful place. Um, I just did a reading on this channel. You can check it out. This um, with the Bob Ross cards that I've started using. And it was about that you are the co-creator of your own, you know, you are the Bob Ross of your reality, that we are painting this picture together. So the message that I received with that, and it's been coming through with many client readings and my own spiritual work as well, is that we are creating right now this reality that we are going to see coming forward. And we're receiving the manifestation of the, man, the reality that we have created up to this point. And so it's very important for us to move into a, a master position to say that, you know, I create a reality that is based on love and integrity and mutual respect and harmony of all and for the benefit and good of all. And that any systems that arise out of this uh, deconstruction, when they are built back up, that they are built back up in a way that is more equal and that provides all of that joy and happiness and freedom that really is truly our birthright. We are sovereign beings and we are absolutely co-creating our experience from either a place of awareness or unawareness. And uh, more of us are coming into an awareness of uh, this reality that is filled with things that we don't wish to perpetuate. And I would challenge everyone listening to also then step in and say, I'm not going to dwell on those images that are created. I'm going to dwell on the images of what I want to see because it is absolutely possible for it to come into our being. We can only imagine it to be so. So as an unconditionally loving frequency being, my goal is to refine myself and to look at the areas where I might have wounds or where my ego is stepping forth in a stronger way to try to protect me and to look to kind of resolve that in myself because as I do so, then it will shift my presence in the world and that higher frequency presence will have an impact on others. It really is an inside job. 
you know, this is talking about everyone leading to their highest potential, not just as a person, but as a soul. And so also then as a humanity, we can live at a higher frequency than this. We have uh, available to us so much more and we are absolutely children of endless light and to step into that fullness with awareness and responsibility and with joy. I am grateful to be an awakened individual on this journey. I don't turn away from its challenges, the shadow and the light, because I wish to bring all of the parts of myself into harmonious balance. I think that this stone is going to be very beautiful and helping <laughs> with that. And when I when it arrives, I'll definitely share with you and let you know. Um, again, if you would like to check out Divine Love Crystal Grid, her crystal message <laughs> was quite shocking to say the least. And uh, <laughs> I think that's all for this particular message. I do have additional guidance. I'm sure things will come through as soon as I turn off the camera because that's what always happens. But um, I definitely invite you to take out the crystal, basic user crystal course too, it's free. Uh, and that we have nothing but time and opportunity to expand our awareness in our mind right now. So uh, to those of you who are growing the flame by living and embodying unconditional love, we are sisters and brothers in this. And I'm so grateful to be on this journey with you. I'm sure that there will be more synchronicities coming fast and furious uh, because we're activating at a higher frequency. So I really can't wait to see <laughs> What additional guidance comes through? Um, it's it like from one day to the next day, it just moves on. If you have the eyes to see and the ears to hear, then the persistent and constant presence of the divine around us is there for you to experience in a very real and beautiful way. So thank you, Justin Asar. For this resource, I'm very glad to have it in my collection. It certainly has brought forth a beautiful message today. And I look forward to working with this tool and providing additional guidance in the future. To each of you, I honor the light in you as a reflection of the light in me. We are divine beings of sovereign power and we absolutely have the ability to create the most beautiful new earth and this is our mission here in this time. So, and also thank you, Hemi Morphite, for showing up uh, with a message and to support us. Um, if you can't find any on Crystal Vaults, def definitely check it out. Keep an eye out for it. If this spoke to you, then you are also going to benefit from this crystal energy coming to part with, partner with you. Okay, so um, thank you for your time and your patience today. Enjoy your Friday. Namaste.